this segment, I'll show you how to tackle opponents in different situations. To start, we will focus on 1v1 situations where the attacker is dribbling at you. As we talked about in the previous defending tutorial, you want to close the gap quickly, get low to the ground, stay light on your toes, and be ready to move with the attacker. Focus on moving your feet quickly and staying with him until you get an opportunity to make a tackle. There are three different types of tackles I'll show you in this video. Number one is the barge tackle, number two, the chop, and number three, the cutoff. When performing a barge tackle, you are simply trying to step through and kick the ball away with a strong foot. Go into the tackle hard, kick it away, and knock your opponent out of the way if you have to. If you can get the ball to a teammate, that is fantastic, but your main objective is to get the ball away from the attacker and out of trouble. When you are doing this tackle, the most important thing is that you go in strong. You may foul some players in the process, but if you get the ball first with a clean tackle and your opponent happens to get knocked over, that isn't a foul and the referee should allow play to continue. When performing a chop tackle, you are trying to stop the player from dribbling past you by chopping the ball back into your own path. For the longest time I used this tackle, but I would just stick my leg out and hope to get the ball. I did make a lot of tackles like this, and you can as well, but it would also result in me getting beat far too often, and it would leave me flat-footed, unable to try and chase the player down. Instead of just reaching for the ball with a dangling leg, I started jumping into the path of the attacker and if I needed to at that point, I would reach my leg out to get the ball. This would allow me to get in front of the attacker, improve my balance and strength in the tackle, and if I did happen to get beat, I would still be able to turn and run. In my opinion, the cutoff tackle is the best type of tackle. However, you don't always have the space and time to perform it. Instead of lunging in and trying to get the ball right away, just quickly turn and cut off the attacker with your body. This eliminates the chance of lunging in and getting beat. Anticipate that he is going to push the ball past you, stay low to the ground, quickly turn, then get your body between the player and the ball. If you can get in the habit of staying on your feet and moving quickly in 1v1 situations, rather than committing yourself by diving in, you will be more successful. If you want to improve faster and achieve more this season, use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the Online Soccer Academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.